What's going on, you all? It's Kimi Show here, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Glamour. So, you all, what's going on? I'm very happy to be back here with you all for another episode. And for this week, we're going to be diving into our fashion week and our resale fashion week. So today I really wanted to let you all know more about resale fashion media, which is what Kita Fashion is really all about right now. There's been a lot of changes that have been happening throughout the years, um, but I really wanted to let you all know about the most recent change because I am really, really excited about it. Now, I don't want to put too much out there because I know that, you know, when you tend to say your ideas before they actually materialize, it can cause a lot of delay or it might not even happen at all. But I definitely wanted to give you all a heads up about what's been going on currently so you all are very much so in the loop and very much so even more engaged in the brand. So Kita Fashion is now a resale fashion media brand. So of course, I'm still selling vintage clothing and I'm really, really excited to roll out the next set of vintage clothing that I have. But I'm also implementing a lot of media into the brand. So as you can see with Vintage Glamour here, this is a part of the resale fashion media, the articles, as well as a part of resale fashion media, as well as a lot of other ideas that I have in mind and that I'm really, really excited about. So, you know, I have always wanted to find a way to merge fashion and media together in my own way. You know, I've always known that I was always really into these fields. Um, but I was always saying to myself, all right, I really love resale fashion, but I really love media. And I can see myself absolutely doing both, you know, and I'm constantly getting commented on my voice. Like if there's anything that I've ever gotten commented the most in my life, it's the sound of my voice. And I would say to myself, all right, well, if I have this voice that I'm always getting commented on, um, you know, I definitely want to use this voice for good. And I definitely want to use this voice to empower and inspire people in the best way that I can. And, you know, I absolutely love to speak and I love to hold conversations with other people. And so this is going to be a platform for all of us just to come together and to feel more united. I'm really, really excited about Vintage Glamour. I have absolutely been loving um, just getting the chance to just connect with you all even more. And it feels really good to step from you know, behind your phone on social media and to connect with you all more and to really put a face um, to the brand. And I definitely hope, you know, that I get a chance to meet many of you all in person, um, especially since the pandemic, you know, is going down in certain areas. Um, and I know many people have been vaccinated. Um, so hopefully, you know, I can definitely get some events out. Um, that would be great if, you know... <laughs> If the universe permits these things to happen, you know, but I, I definitely would want to connect with you all more this year and in the upcoming years, you know, so I'm really excited about this. And, you know, this is just my way to put both of my passions together. And at first I'm like, hmm, resale fashion media, this is different. This is new, but um, it has a really nice ring to it that I keep saying, all right, I'm going to just run with this and see where it goes. And I think if there's anything I've been realizing in life, sometimes you just really got to go for it. You know, we can stall, we can think, we can wonder, we can ponder, but we'll never know unless we try, right? So I want to really try this out and, you know, I really see it going far and I'm most importantly excited to grow this community and to engage with you all even more. Um, I know I took a, a month off in March and that was just really to gather up and regroup and to really figure out my direction with this brand because I said to myself, after this month, I'm really going to push forward and be really consistent, especially on social media. And um, shout out to you all that have reached out <laughs> and have literally told me like, you know, Key, I just want to say I see that you're really being consistent and I love what you're doing. And um, it's those little moments that really make me smile because you, you all will say those things to me at moments where I'm just going through my own things, you know, in my, in my own personal life. Right. And, you know, hearing those things and having you all come and just show such genuine support, it really does mean a lot to me. It really does. Um, and, I, and I feel really grateful to have a community like this. You know, you always dream of, you know, when you have your own brand and your own platform to have just a supportive community. So it feels really amazing that, 
you know, there are people in this community right now that are really supporting me. You know, I really appreciate it and I don't take any of this for granted and it really motivates me to make this, you know, the best resale fashion brand for you, honestly. And I'm really excited for what's to come. And of course, I want to tell you all more, but I really believe in just waiting to things, you know, come out and, you know, waiting for real ideas to materialize before I speak on them. Because for some reason in my life, you all, anytime I talk about an idea before it actually has happened, like I, I actually have jumped into resale fashion media now, but I don't want to talk about everything else I have in store, right? Anytime, y'all, I come out and I prematurely talk about an idea, something always ends up not working out. This this can go with with anything all the way to a romantic relationship. If I'm talking to a guy and things are nice, 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 next thing you know, I go and open up my mouth and tell somebody about it. The next day, things ain't working out no more with me, my, me and that guy. And I'm over here like, what the heck? <laughs> we was just, you know, having a great time. So before I go on an unnecessary tangent with that, <laughs> I just want to say that, you know, I, I want to make sure that I actually do the groundwork first behind the scenes and materialize these ideas before I come out and speak on them. Um, I really believe in, you know, putting in the work first and um, working hard on these things first before I come out and speak on them, right? But I definitely wanted you all to know um, just the direction I'm going here. Uh, with Kita Fashion because it was a resale fashion brand at first and now it is a resale fashion media brand. Well, at first it was actually a blog and then it was a resale fashion brand and now it's a resale fashion media brand. And I'm really excited about this. And I also wanted to say for the membership, um, I'm loving that you all are loving to subscribe to the membership. It is $5 a month. Um, and you get exclusive articles, exclusive videos, exclusive discount codes, and just really feel united into the community. And the membership is called Fashion Icons Only. Um, as you all know, I refer to you all as Fashion Icon just because I want you all to feel inspired to become your own fashion icon. I think in life, you know, we're always so, you know, pressured to look at others as inspiration and influences in our lives, which is, you know, valuable. I, I know I have people that inspire me in life, but it's so important to look within and to look at yourself as inspiration, right? And, you know, and look at your own self as that self-empowerment, right? So, you know, that's why I call you all fashion icons, because I want you all to start looking at yourself and looking within for that own style inspiration and for that style confidence. So, you know, I'm really excited about this and um, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity to be able to do Vintage Glamour for you all. Um, I know last week that I was trying to put out that video and it wouldn't post on YouTube. So I said, you know what? Now we're getting a video up this week. We got to do both the video and the podcast um, because I know there's people that enjoy listening to the show via the podcast streams. And I'm really excited about it because now like the podcast is on Apple Podcasts and Spotify podcast streams as well. So you all can tune into Vintage Glamour on those streaming platforms as well, which is pretty dope, right? So I'm excited for what's to come and I just got to keep, you know, holding the faith alive and, you know, being determined and also being patient. You know, I think with entrepreneurship, the one thing it's really teaching me is to give myself a lot more grace and to be a lot more patient because, you know, sometimes, you know, I would want certain things to happen tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, you know, and I realized, well, no, you know, you gotta, you gotta be patient here, you know, in life, you gotta be patient. So um, I'm just gonna really be even more patient and, you know, hold the faith alive and continue to provide you all with amazing content, amazing service, and dope as fuck fashion. So, you know, this is Resale Fashion Media. This is Kita Fashion, and I am your host, Key Michelle, and this is the Vintage Glamour Show. And thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all next week Sunday for another episode. And have a good one, y'all. Bye now. <laughs>